looks good, Jeff. Does it? Holy I shit. Like, like that, that color? color? That blue. I didn't know. That blue is... How did, you, did you know it was going to turn out that color? Hey guys, we are back with episode 5, where we launch our 1978 Carver that we purchased for a dollar. It's been a long time in the making. We've got several episodes out there where we've done some work on the boat, and it's finally time to get it into the WADA. Very excited for this episode, so stay tuned. Coming up next. Buy some worthless old boat and fix it up new. Okay, so first we need a quick review. Back in early March, before COVID-19 messed up everybody's life, we were asked to consider buying this 1978 Carver Mariner 33 that's been sitting dry dock, abandoned for the past four plus years. If we didn't take it, it was going to be scrapped and ground up by the marina. I didn't know much about cabin cruisers at the time, but I'm very hands-on and decided this would make a great spring project. First thing we did was strip off the old bottom paint and repaired some minor damage to the hull. Next, we painted on a new barrier coat to protect the hull from water damage and osmosis, followed by an ablative anti-fouling paint perfect for the muddy waters of the upper Mississippi. Next was an engine replacement and starting of the twin GM small block 350. You can find links to this video series in the description below or at the end of this video. While there's plenty of other things that needed repairs, if the boat floats and can move under its own power, it was time to get it in the water to enjoy a summer and fall that because of COVID-19 and state restrictions on sports, restaurants, and bars really didn't have anything going for it. So on July 3rd, the boat was going in the water for the holiday weekend and hopefully wouldn't sink in the mud and be claimed by the mighty Mississippi. This is how it went. Aha! That's how they do all that. I got rid of my jack and all the fun stuff earlier. He's got it. Going down the road in our boat. Okay, so the guys from the marina are going to pull us over to one of their docks so that we can work on the engines. Uh, we had the engines running on land, but it's a lot better and we get a lot more water when we're in the river. I said, says, uh, do you regret anything yet? I says, ask me on July 4th. Ask me on July 4th. Ask me on July 4th. So there you have it. We've had three great months on the water and now we start looking at detailing the boat. 
with finishing the teak and the mahogany trim, as well as other improvements before next boating season. In our next video, we'll go over the money spent thus far and if this boat was a bad investment. So please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get notified when that video is completed. Thanks for watching and see you next time.